Hello, it's your guy, Chef Wilson, coming to you live, of course, today with another video. In today's video, I'll be talking about measuring cups, right? Measuring cups, right? So, whatever is a liquid, liquid uh, measuring cup, right? This is a four, four cup liquid measuring cup, right? And this is a two cup liquid measuring cup, right? This is one point, one point, and this is two point, right? So this is one point, and this is two point, right? Four cups, two cups, liquid form, measuring cup, right? And these are the dry measuring, measuring cup. You have one cup, right? And you have half cup, right? And you have a one third cup, and you have a quarter cup. It's best when you follow the recipe, you follow the, the right measurements by using the right cups, right? We normally, I, knew, I normally use this to measure dry ingredients such as flour, cornmeal, you know, rice and stuff. I use this to measure liquid like water, milk, etc. Right? So it's best to use the right measuring cup to do cooking, which which are required from you know various recipes and stuff. Right? But in most cases, many of us don't have the dry measuring cup, but we will have the wet. Measuring cup, the liquid measuring cup, right? And oftentimes we use this to measure dry ingredients. But if you want accurate sip, it's best to, it's best to use the, the dry measuring cup for, for measuring dry ingredients, right? So, anyway, this, this is a short uh, video tip, right? So, stay tuned for more video tips coming from Chef Winston in the future. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, no, follow me on Instagram, not Facebook, sorry. Follow me, on, follow me on Instagram at chefwinston.fp, Twitter, chefwinston underscore fp, right? And as always, content to the easy, the and, you know, be well, and, you know, peace.